apartment warming party. Is Angela and Becca's apartment even cold? Ah, it's the first big thing they're doing together as roommates. A way of setting their living situation off to a good start. And it's a chance to dance. I've been practicing my moves for this dance party all week. Either way, I'm sure the girls have planned a night of fun and friendship. What was even the point of me buying these special dance shoes if we're not even having a dance party? I guess huh? there wasn't one. Dance parties are terrible, stupid, and lame! No, we're vampire parties! I tell you how ridiculous you sound, but I did it because I'm never speaking to you again! Whoa, this apartment warming just got really heated. Hey, what happened last night? I thought you and Becca were getting along. We were, until we tried to plan that dumb party. She covered up my disco ball with ugly creep curtains. She wouldn't stop messing with my party playlist. And she even tried to get rid of my favorite lamp. We're roommates, and that means we're supposed to be best friends. But how can people be friends if they can't agree on anything? <sighs> Maybe we're just too different. It sounds like you're suffering from roommate syndrome. It's a relatively common psychological ailment where the stress of living together makes friends fight. <laughs> yeah, we definitely have that syndrome. But now me and Becca will never talk again. That's not true. This actually happens to me and Hank a lot. But we have a system so that when we get on each other's nerves, we can find the fun. Tom, take out the trash! I have nowhere to put my chewed gum! No, you take out the trash! I did it last month, and I have important things to do. Oh, and watching TV isn't important! It's a mid-season finale! <laughs> Ooh, friendship activity! activity. Every time. Well, Hank, we're having a private conversation here. Ooh, fine. You bet and Angela just chat it up in the common room, and I'll go hide in the dirt. Yeah. Oh, friendship activity. Ice cream? Yeah. Huh. I think I get it now. Becca? Angela! What do you want? I want to show you something. Something that's going to solve all our problems! Oh. <laughs> we have roommate syndrome, so I planned a whole day of friendship just for us. Uh, okay. <gasps> Why do I have to dress like a doll for this? Because dressing up is the first friendship saving fun activity. This tiara is pinching my head. Oh, well, think of it as a pinch of friendship from your world's best roommate. <laughs> Yay! one of my things. Wait, what? Your things? Today is about our friendship. All we've done so far is things you want to do. Oh. Oh, no, Becca, you're right. I'm sorry I made bonding all about me. Um, you can pick the next thing. I'll do anything you want. A shopping spree? <laughs> how about scrapbooking? Oh, how about a movie musical marathon? Actually, 
there's a blindfolded parachute event. We can sign up for a tandem jump. <gasps> this is gonna be great. I'll email you the waivers to sign and we can head right over. Waivers? In case the jump goes wrong and we horrifically die. <laughs> the usual. <gasps> Too late if you want to do something else. There's a tap dancing class. Ah, this looks crazy, amazing. <laughs> Race you to the practice fan. your friendship day with Becca going? Um, it's sure going, Tom, and we are doing all the things. I just found something I know you'll love. The spa is having a day of total relaxation. You and Becca could go right now. A day of total relaxation sounds amazing. and it turns out the spa isn't really her style. Well, just keep doing whatever you're doing. You can't friendship bond if you're not with your friend. <sighs> agreed to this day. Maybe we'd never hang out, but at least we'd both have our heads. Uh, and, uh, please forgive me. Uh, sure. What? I forgive you. What did you do? Wait. You're not even here? What? No, I'm so here. Woo! <laughs> Why'd you even agree to do this if you were just going to ditch me? By the time you get home, I'll be moved out! Our friendship and roommate ship is over! Oh, no. Does this mean you'll be sticking around? Because we have some cheese-covered strawberries that you just have to try. They're very different tastes, but they work together. They're different, but they work together! I've gotta go! I have a roommate relationship to save! To you, but I will let the apartment know that I'm leaving forever. Good boy. Ah, I... Welcome to our disco vampire den. Angela, what is all of this? This is us. 
Look, I don't like some of your stuff, and you don't like some of my stuff. But we both like being friends. We're like strawberries and cheese. Two very different tastes that go well together. Okay. But you still shouldn't have ditched me earlier. I know, and I'm so sorry. Please don't move out, Becca. I could never move out of a place with such killer decorations. And since the place looks so great, maybe we could have a party to show it off. An apartment warming party do-over! <laughs> 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 And that is how they made candles in the Middle Ooh. Ages. This is so boring. Why can't we learn about cool stuff like knights and ogres and dragons? Hey, I like candles. They're the second best part of birthday wishes. <laughs> Come, kids. There's plenty more educational things to see. <gasps> Finally, something good! A song! Oh, that's the sword of virtue. No one has ever been able to pull it from that stump. Legend has it that whoever does will become the knight protector of this realm. But that's not part of this tour. Next up, how nails were made. <laughs> Come on, we've got nails to see. And you're not going to get the sword out. It's stuck forever. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't hear you. I was too busy becoming Light That's enough, Ginger. Back away, Nate. Ah. I belong to Sir Ginger, the Knight Protector. <gasps> what the? My magic sword just got more magic. Well, uh, this is absurd. Let me check that thing for speakers. Back away, Nate. Ginger. No. Ow! This might actually be real. The Internet Legend Database says the Sword of Virtue was enchanted with speech to teach its <gasps> owner the way of knights. Sir Database speaks the truth. What now, brave Sir Ginger? Ready to run? I'm pretty sure I know how this works. Huh? <laughs> Sir Ginger, please! I simply want to teach you! Listen. Kid, this is a crime scene here, okay? Someone stole a statue right out of the park, and we're looking for clues. Your night protector will help, peasant! Yeah. Yeah. Uh, won't you please just yeah. stop? So, excited about the laser show? Yeah, this is gonna be great! I grow weary from a long day of heroics, and I demand a payment of candy! Candy, I say! Knights don't get paid in candy. I mean, didn't your sword tell you that? No. Sir Ginger has not given me a chance to teach him. He's been too busy yelling and swinging me around. Oh, what, yet, swordy? I know how to hero. I don't need to learn anything. But Ginger... Duck, 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 duck. Please raise your hand if you're a knight. Oh, I thought so. No! Candy! Whoa, 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 Ginger, stop! Ah! Huh? Huh? What happened in here? Hank! Hank! Your friend isn't here right now. He's been taken by me. <laughs> Guys, what's going on? I'm scared. I have been awakened from my slumber because someone is claiming to be Night Protector. Would that be you, Ginger the Weak? Oh, what? You could never defeat me. 
If you want to rescue your friend, meet me in the clearing in the woods at sundown. But you'd better be ready! That wizard doesn't know who he's messing with. Right, Ginger? Ginger? Uh, I don't know how to fight a dark wizard. I thought being a night protector would be fun, not scary. What am I gonna do? Well, I hate to be Captain Magic, but the sword did mention it could train you to be a better knight. Can you really do it, Swordy? Of course, Sir Ginger. You simply must follow the knight's path. The first step is no time to yield. For now's the time to make your shield. Now we're talking! I want one with spikes and a laser! But if you want to win the day, you must do it in the right way! What's that mean? I think I might know. <laughs> Medieval blacksmiths were master technicians. Observe their process. <laughs> that looks like a dinner plate. For a first try, it's not bad, huh? Well, okay. Sorty, I made a shield. What do I do with it? That shield will help you save the day as you learn to knight the knightly way. But to strike fear into a foe's chest, you must create your knightly crest. But what's that? A cool helmet? Oh, oh, I know this. A knight's crest was a picture representing who they are. What? I went through a castle face. Ginger, ask yourself, who are you? <laughs> okay, this is everything that's important to me right now. Not sure how it's gonna help me fight a wizard. <laughs> the third step is no small trick. To learn the craft of wax and wick. The craft of wax and wick. Mmm, wax and wick. <laughs> it sounds like you're supposed to make a camp. Now slowly pull the candle by the wick from its mold and... Voila! Not bad. Huh. But what does that have to do with being a knight? Guys, it's almost sundown. We're running out of time to save Hank. This makes no sense. How will a candle, a picture, and a junky shield help me fight a wizard? Win your fight. You must be clever. Use the things you've learned together. Uh, not helpful, Sorty. Ginger, you don't have to do this alone. We can help you. I am the Light Protector. This is my fight. It always has been, ever since earlier today when I got this sword. I have to trust my path. <laughs> Where'd you get a staff like that? Did you have to make it? Is there a guy who sells staffs? Hmm? Silence! I sense someone nearby. <laughs> well, well, well. Do you think you have what it takes to fight me? You bet! You're looking at someone who just did the knight's path. <laughs> you young fool. I could banish you to the Dark Realms with a single spell. No, you can't! Because I can use the thing Okay, Sorty. What now, Sorty? Ginger, what happened? I lost. My stupid sword gave stupid advice. Using the things I learned together didn't do anything. I'll never understand being a knight. Hmm. Wait, maybe that's not what together actually meant. <laughs> Tom, watch I, Tom the Squire, hereby announce the arrival of Sir Ginger the Brave. Ah, you fool! Angela, the candle maker. <laughs> yes! Getting your friend 
friends to fight for you. What kind of knight are you? Real knights depended on others to succeed. Blacksmiths, squires, and candle makers all help too. Ha <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Now, King Sword Name! Congratulations on completing this interactive lesson on medieval knights. Swordy, what are you saying? Hey, you're the museum guy! I am. We got a lot of feedback that our normal tours are, well, very boring. So this quest is a new program we're doing. But the sword talked. Yes, it has little speakers in it. What? But how did you know that? Sorry for fooling you, Ginger, but they said if we played along, they'd give us tickets to the museum laser show. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand. Are you saying the Knight's Path stuff wasn't training me to be a wizard fighter? Oh, <laughs> no. It was learning. You tricked me! That's true, but Ginger, look what you did. You were a brave knight and you saved your friend. <laughs> and I bet you had some fun, too. Mm, okay, but my next adventure better be real! Well, I'm glad you liked it. I I'm gonna have to ask you to clear out. Another kid is coming and we can't spoil the surprise. Let's stop a crime now, huh? <laughs> Woo! I've yes. never been a fan of the Bongo and McGillicuddy show, but their new mobile game, Rule. Um. Get it? Rules? Because it's a game about Ugh. law enforcement. Stop ruining it, Ben! This is the best app I ever played this week. Mm. <gasps> My perp confessed! I just leveled up to Bicycle Cop! Woo! Huh? huh? Uh, yeah. <gasps> oh! I love how you can make your own character. I'm playing as Jackie, a no-nonsense lady of the law who hates crime. And nonsense. Oh, don't mess with Jackie. Wait, I just realized something. If we're loving this game, imagine how Hank, the world's biggest Bongo and McGillicuddy fan, feels. This must be the best day of his life. Yeah, <laughs> this is the worst day of my life! Have you seen this new game? It's an insult, a joke, a slap in the face to our cartoon boys in blue. Really? We all love it. Yeah. It's fun. It's not fun, it's wrong. The shape of the police station is wrong. Hmm. The rookie ranking system is wrong. And McGillicuddy's accent, it's ridiculous and also wrong. Let's stop a crime now, huh? Ah! Oh, I guess we didn't notice all that. We just thought anything with Bongo and McGillicuddy in it has got to be good, right? Wrong, 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 wrong! Five stars, this game rocks. Oh, what do they know? Again, five stars. Ugh, why can't they see how much better the show is? Ugh. We did it, McGillicuddy. We made a cake to surprise the chief on the anniversary of his first collar. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't that the truth? Sometimes if you want something done right, you just have to do it yourself. Oh. Bongo, you are so right. I have to do it myself. And I think I know just what it myself is going to do. Attention, everyone. Do not play the Bongo and McGillicuddy mobile game. Why not? I love that app. You're playing a bad game. But don't worry, I have a better one. The only game that stays true to everyone's favorite TV cops. Bongo and McGillicuddy's Tabletop Adventure Game. You see how fun this is? Oh, landed on a give me your badge space. That means I can stop playing by the rules. This one's lame! The phone game is great! No! The game's all wrong! That's the whole point! You don't even care! It's just a game. Just a... No, it's not! Bongo and McGillicuddy are my friends! Bongo and McGillicuddy are real! <laughs> Stop laughing! I'm serious! Bongo is real! McGillicuddy is real! My friendship with them is real! Real! Uh... 
<laughs> I love this game! Yes! I just arrested a smuggler and then bought his speedboat at a police auction. I've got to catch up to you. I forgot to get a warrant and lost ten badges. Attention! It is I, the super fan! Oh. What? Get it? Super fan, multiple meanings. The tank! My message is simple. Say goodbye to your precious Bongo and McGillicuddy mobile game, because at 6 o'clock tonight, it's game over. However! <laughs> what is Hank thinking? I know! Why wouldn't he edit out that last part? We have to stop him. But how? Hmm. We don't know where he is or where he's going, and we don't have any way to find him. That's easy. We just have to... Huh? I don't know. Usually Hank is the one who deals with the crime stuff. In the game, if a case is too tough, you can ask Bongo and McGillicuddy for advice. I mean, if Bongo and McGillicuddy were here, they'd know what to do. Too bad they're not. They never will be. Huh? Hello, citizens. We're a couple of undercover cops, and as we patrolled this precinct, we couldn't help but perceive your predicament. Have we met? You look familiar. No, no, we're out of town, cops. I'm Morgan, and this is Brad. <laughs> so, what do you say we offer you as a bit of police assistance and uh, get hunting for your friend? That's exactly what we needed. Come on, everyone. Huh? Let's investigate. Backdrop, camera, script. Mm -hmm. Now, to your civilian, untrained eye, this probably looks like nothing. But to me, it's a clue. Mm -hmm. Hank must have recorded his video right here. If that's true, then someone nearby might have seen something. How may I help you, officer? We're looking for your neighbor, Hank. Oh, Hank. Yes, of course I saw him. He was flying into town, laughing uh, to himself and uh, talking about needing a lot of electronics. Wait a minute. Electronics? They sell those at the electronics store. Yep, Hank was here, all right. And he bought a suspicious supply of electronics. Oh, but why is Ronnie's name on that receipt? <gasps> He must have used Ronnie's discount card. That means Ronnie probably knows where he's headed. I'm getting the hang of this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Hey, huh? <gasps> Run! Get here! Let's go! Please, I can't go back to jail. You've never been to jail, Ronnie. My mom drove past the jail once, and it was horrible. Well, if you want to stay out of trouble, you better start talking. Are you working with Hank? He, he told me he'd use my card so I could get the points from his purchase if I showed him how to hook a magnet to a server. What? what? Hank is going to delete the game? I'm going to delete his face. I just wanted points. I've been saving up to get my own toaster for hmm. years. Quick, to the server district. Hands up, Hank! This is where the game's data is stored. <gasps> hmm. Hmm. Ah, wait, 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 there he is! Uh, uh, uh. Ha! You're too late! When this countdown ends, my Mega Magnet will erase all these servers. Nice plan, Superfan, but you forgot about one thing. Justice! Uh... Why? Why are you doing this? I have to do this. The only way to stop people from liking the game is to stop the game from existing. Hank, why can't people like a thing even if you don't like it? Because I know more about my favorite show than any of those other people. soon be a better place. All thanks to me, the super fan. You don't sound like a fan right now. You sound like a villain. Wrong, Ginger. Wrong. I'm the hero in this story. And if they were here, Bongo and McGillicuddy would agree. That's not true. And I should know, Hank, oh. because I'm Bongo. <gasps> and he's McGillicuddy. Oh. Bongo and McGillicuddy. Bongo and McGillicuddy are real. Oh, well, we're real, all right. Real disappointed in our friend, Hank. Disapp what? I was just trying to protect you. This game gets it all wrong, Mom! There's always time for pizza! 
Hank, that game might have changed a few details about us. Yeah, a few zillion. You know what it didn't change? Our love of fighting crime and righting wrongs. Can't you see that? I... I thought I was helping. Oh, I can't believe I turned evil. But you're not evil. You're Hank. Yes. And you can still fix this. You're right. Server deletion order canceled. Huh? <gasps> Uh-oh. Without that remote, there's no way to stop the countdown. The servers are going to be destroyed. This whole adventure was for nothing. Not if I can help it. Oh, I stopped the crime now, huh? Well, I never thought I'd say this, but it's been nice meeting you, real Bongo <laughs> and real McGillicuddy. Uh, before you return to your home, or uh, your reality, alternate as it may be, I have a few quick questions regarding the scientific implications of your existence alongside ours. Ahem. Given a construct of a uh, uh, material universe... <laughs> Classic uh, Ben. Uh, Always being a nerd. Universe. But what time for us to go. Hey, uh, anyone time. seen Hank? Hey, your cartoon friends are leaving! You, huh? Oh, uh, hang on, I want to earn bigger tires for my police plane. Okay, I guess he's got more important things to do right now. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well. Huh? Hmm. <laughs>